Good morning. It is Sunday, January 6th, and today we are going to Disney Springs to go see the Kingdom Hearts exhibit um, that they have there. Just a really quick note about what I'm using um, on my face because I got a new palette, which is the Feral palette. I introduced this on my last vlog, uh, last week's vlog when I got it, but the Feral palette from Menagerie uh, Cosmetics, I think they used to be Makeup Monster. Um, it does look like this, and I used basically all the pink and purple shades on my look today. Um, and then on my lips, is Name Drop from the ColourPop Luxe Collection. I just I really like the formula. Um, so we are going today, I'm wearing my I Speak Phoenician t-shirt, and uh, we are going to be doing some more targeted uh, videos. So we'll be doing a video on the Kingdom Hearts exhibit. We'll be doing a video on one of the places we eat for lunch, as well as in this vlog, we'll be showing you some interesting things we see along the way. And so I'm going to be doing a lot of the recording here. Uh, we've got a new little stand here, which is going to be interesting to play with. Um, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to this because we used to play a lot of Kingdom Hearts. Uh, we did not actually finish the second game. Uh, we got right up to the last boss, and that's where we just stopped for some reason. Um, but uh, now we've got new versions of it, and Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out after how many years? Yeah, a long time. They take a long time to make Kingdom Heart, or at least mainline Kingdom Heart games. There's like tons of little ones all over the place. Um, everybody, if you've played Kingdom Hearts, post your favorite game down below. And, uh, well, we'll see you over there. This is where we're thinking of eating for lunch today. It's called the Polite Pig. So we're going to uh, show you what you can uh, conceivably get here and uh, how cheap or, and or healthy it is. Uh, so here we are at the Polite Pig inside. Uh, I like the, the decor of the place. Uh, it's got kind of a uh, Edison light design with a bunch of just brick architecture, just industrial. Um, my only issue is the, how loud it is. But you can sit outside. In, yeah, you can sit outside, and it's, if you're just coming in to eat, it's great. But I really do like the way that this place looks. And the way you almost took out a waitress with your hand. <laughs> so I got the cheddar sausage. It comes with a jalapeno cornbread, roasted cauliflower, barbecue cauliflower, and coleslaw, which is very good for uh, low carb. Because um, really the only carb that's happening is happening like in the cornbread and in, you know, maybe in the coleslaw. Um, this was $15 though, which I think was a lot more economical than getting an $11 sandwich with one side for $4 extra. So this, I think, is, you know, for Disney standards, it's a lot of food and pretty economical for that. So you guys got what's called the butcher board, right? Mm -hmm. To share? What is that? So you've got brisket, you've got... Uh, you got pork sides, you got half a chicken, you got some of basically all of the different kinds of meat that they offer. Uh, and then it came with coleslaw, corn, cornbread, although we I think we ordered the corn on the side. Mm -hmm. And then we also got these crispy Brussels sprouts, which I was really looking forward to when I saw them on the menu. As far as like a healthy way of eating, you know, there is a carbs in the corn in the cornbread, but everything else looks pretty good. If um, you're if you're not like into meat, this probably won't be good for you. But then again, this is a barbecue place, so. Well, and the other thing about this is that this does cost uh, thirty nine dollars, but you share with two people, so you're talking about twenty dollars a person for this. It is a lot of food, but you can. You can see that if you got something like what I had over here for 15, it's just as much food as over here. This is just more meat. So <laughs> that's why it's more money. So, you know, take that as you will. So, yeah, we, we finished eating up and I was really liking the uh, barbecue Brussels sprouts, the crispy Brussels sprouts. They're in this whiskey caramel sauce, giving a nice sweetness to it and also kind of crispy it up. Out of all the meats, personally, I like the the sausage, the cheddar sausage, the best. But everything here was cooked 
just right. It was good. Um, Corey, Corey, can you just tell us what you thought of the corn? It was good. It had some kind of crumbles on top of it, and the sauce in the bottom of it. What was the favorite thing that you had? Uh, for me, I think it was, I, I would really like the sausage, and uh, I liked the coleslaw and the cornbread. The cauliflower wasn't my favorite thing, um, but it was a good rendition of the cauliflower because I had like a barbecue sauce on it, and it was cooked really well. So it wasn't like it was a bad cauliflower, it's just I wasn't feeling it. But the one thing that I really do appreciate, which we're talking about, is that there is a lot of really healthy side items here that you don't usually see at barbecue places, and I really appreciate that fact because as someone who's trying to eat low carb, this is a very easy to find things that I can actually eat. Um, and then, you know, the, the price point for Disney is pretty standard. Usually it's going to be, like, for the lower end, it's going to be like $15. <laughs> then the waiters can buy while you're filming. <laughs> um, but, no, overall, I think this is a really good option if you guys are looking for a place to go. Um, and it's also really convenient to get to. If you park in the line garage, it's just right outside. So if you've been on a long drive to the Disney area and you need to get some meat, it's really convenient. Okay, so I think we're going to go to the Kingdom Hearts exhibit. This Frozen one, and then the one from Big Hero 6 over here. Yeah, but also, um, if, if you look at some of the other murals that they have here, it looks like a lot of the characters from the side games are getting folded into the story mm -hmm. here. Um, characters that, if you only played Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, you'll never even know who they are. It looks like over there we have the Pirates, and then Monsters, Inc., and then I can't see the other one. Oh, it's uh, it's Tangled. So it looks like they also have Pooh in here, and also Olympus for like Hercules. Which they, they've been having those in each of the games, like the way the Pooh is more the gentle mini games. Olympus has always been about the Colosseum and fighting. So we're waiting in line so you can play the demo. level and you did toy box and it is really cool it's it's the same kind of gameplay that you got from the original but they're they're adding more to some of the systems from uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 to make it more interactive mm -hmm. give you give you more of a feeling of like just magic to it yeah it was and the, yeah it was, mm -hmm. it was a good time it's really can't wait <laughs> So there's this new 
restaurant at Disney Springs that we've never really seen before called Chicken Guy. Uh, we're gonna go check out the menu. So it looks like the prices are actually pretty reasonable here. Um, it looks like it's legitimately just like chicken and fries and um, there's actually salads down below there too, but it looks pretty reasonable for Disney prices. Mm -hmm. Marshall just found this set, which is all the princesses from Ralph Breaks the Internet in doll form for like $129. And what's great is in the store you can find some of these shirts that they're wearing. I love it. I love this so much. And they have Merida in here, which makes me happy, and also Rapunzel. And Ariel. And Belle. All my faves. After being done with the Kingdom Hearts thing, we just decided we're gonna trips around all over here, uh, see what we can, see what to do, um, and then in a little while, we're actually going to see Ralph Breaks the Internet, which, uh, yeah, we were a little bit late in seeing. Well, rather spontaneously, because we forgot about it, but we were like, you know what, it's only like one o'clock, we have plenty of time, mm -hmm. let's go do it, we're here. And, and you know, uh, like, I think what reminded us was what we saw in the Disney-style store, uh, the, uh, from them. The princesses. We like, oh, yeah. Let's go watch this, because I'm actually looking forward to seeing some more of the internet stuff from the show. Like, normally I do not go see animated movies, um, because because of my hearing problem, and, and sometimes cartoons just don't interest me, but Pixar movies and Disney movies, I will go see. Yeah. I think there's also just a little bit more of a level of like realism in how they move their mouths. Yeah. So you can kind of understand them just a little bit better than you can, especially like if you're watching something that isn't originally in English. Exactly. Yeah. So like I can never get her to watch an anime. Anime does not work for me, even if it's subtitled. It just, yeah. I can't do it. Um, so behind us here, we have the food truck area for those of you who have never been here. It's kind of a cute little area where you can just get something. Um, quick to eat. We have a couple hours to kill though before the movie so that's why we're just sitting here waiting for Corey to get back from purchasing the tickets and then we will keep meandering and maybe get something cold to drink yeah. while we're waiting. So I smell fries. Yeah, I smell fries too. It's, it's smelling pretty good but we are being carb good. We are being carb good. So we're in the Star Wars store and we we saw this stitch just hanging out up there in the Star Wars store. Corey is pumping gas. We're on our way home. And they have very dark. Yeah, we got Del Taco for dinner. Because the carb count is actually not bad on tacos. Yeah, it's not that bad. We saw Wreck-It Ralph breaks the internet. Yeah. She didn't like it very much, and for very good reasons. I didn't hate it. It was just not... It didn't keep my attention. I loved the whole scene with the modern princesses. And then there's a musical number that I thought was really good. But on the whole, I was kind of bored through most of the movie, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, like, I can, I can understand it was not the best plot line. And if you have difficulty with lots and lots of flashing things... This might not be your movie. Yeah, if I was but susceptible if, to strokes, I probably would have had one. Yeah, but you know, if you're if you're watching movies that you're looking for all the little references to everything, like the original Wreck-It Ralph, Ready Player One, that this is one of those movies. There, there was like some interesting references, I have to say, but some some really obscure references to Disney that was in there. I like that. I do have to say that I can't believe that I want to see Detective Pikachu. It, it looks it looks a lot better than any other Pokemon media that's come out in a long time. So true. Well, it looks like he's about done pumping gas, so we're going to go home and eat. <laughs> 